What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to talk about the vector derivatives in the cylindrical coordinate system. Okay, so just a brief recall. In the Cartesian coordinate system, okay, the differential, uh, the differ vector differential operator del is just given by x hat times derivative with respect to x plus y hat times derivative of y with this, uh, y hat times derivative of with the derivative with respect to y plus z hat times derivative with respect to z. Okay, so from here, if you're going to apply that to a scalar potential t, give it uh, that has values x, uh, uh, that ha that is a function of x, y, and z, we define the gradient of t as well as the as well as the Laplacian of t. If we're going to apply this, to a vector field V which has X Y and Z components we can get the divergence of V and the curl of V now in cylindrical coordinates okay we express the gradient of some vector uh, some element t where t is a function of s p and z as derivative of t with respect to s s hat plus 1 over s times derivative of t uh, with respect to phi, phi hat plus derivative of t with respect to z, z hat. If we have the, if we have a vector in the cylindrical coordinate system given by v s s hat plus v v v hat plus v z z hat the gradient of v is given by 1 over s times derivative with respect to s of s v s plus 1 over s times derivative of v v with respect to v plus derivative of vz with respect to z and the curl of the same vector field is given by 1 over s derivative of vz with respect to phi minus derivative of vv with respect to z s hat plus derivative of vs with respect to z plus derivative of vz with respect to s p hat plus 1 over s times derivative of with respect to s of s v phi minus derivative of vs with respect to phi z and then if we're going to use the same Scalar field T, the Laplacian is given by 1 over S times derivative with respect to S of S times derivative of T with respect to S plus 1 over S squared times the second derivative of T with respect to phi, phi plus the second derivative of T with respect to Z. Okay, so this is very important to know and be familiarized it because this will be used when we're dealing with wires especially we're going to find the uh, electric potential electric field even magnetic potential or magnetic field uh, due to uh, wire 
uh, same uh, wire looking or uh, uh, configurations or charge configuration similar to a wire okay but i'm not expecting you to memorize this as long as you know how to use these equations that's fine with me okay so and that's all for now thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye